The K vitamin and its benefits. The K vitamin is essential for the blood to clot to repair injuries. Whenever a person has a bleeding wound, it is the K vitamin that is present in the blood that stops the bleeding and enables most minor cuts to heal quickly. There are three different forms of the K vitamin. The first variant of the K vitamin is vitamin K1, also known as philoquinone. This is the form of the K vitamin that is found in plant foods. The second form of the K vitamin is the vitamin K2, or menaquinone. This type of the K vitamin is formed by friendly bacteria in the lower intestinal tracts. Thirdly, there is vitamin K3 which is also known as menadione and is actually an artificial form of the K vitamin. All three of these types of K vitamin end up in the liver where it is used to create the blood clotting substances. The best natural sources of the K vitamin are green leafy vegetables, such as spinach, kale and mustard green. However, because the friendly bacteria in the intestine makes one of the forms of the K vitamin, it is extremely rare for a person to have a deficiency of the K vitamin and so K vitamin supplements are not needed by the majority of people. Apart from the main function of helping blood to clot, the K vitamin, specifically vitamin K1, has an important part to play in the bone building process. This K vitamin is required to retain the calcium in the bones and redistribute it to where it is needed. Although K vitamin deficiency is relatively rare, there are certain groups of people who may suffer from it. Newborn babies may not have enough of the K vitamin as they have insufficient bacteria in their intestinal tract to produce it. The majority of newborn babies in developed countries are therefore given AK vitamin shots to tide them over until the natural process takes over. That is the only time that AK vitamin supplement will be taken by most people throughout their lives. However, an extended course of antibiotics intake may lead to AK vitamin deficiency due to the fact that the antibiotics kill the intestinal bacteria. Again, K vitamin supplement may be given if the course of antibiotics has to continue for a long period of time. Subscribe and share. Like and leave your comments. Hit the bell. This is your health and fitness channel.